Hello, and welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Dan Tack. Hello, everyone. This is Artifact, and we are about to start drafting. In Artifact Draft, you draft two cards at a time uh -huh. to make your deck. Uh, so if you're not familiar with card games, drafting is a mode where you don't have any of the cards. Mm -hmm. You open them and play with them in the same sort of uh, closed system tournament. I would like to draft Leo Vader. Thank you for I, having me. I would I'm, draft him every time. First pick. So I'm legendary. We got some interesting picks in this pack. I hate playing blue in draft mode. Why is that? Because it's uh, the char the heroes in blue are very um, very fragile. Oh. So like red heroes and black heroes will kill them in one shot and give them tons of gold. Are they glass cannons, Dan They're, Tech? They are not. They come with very powerful spells. Like this ogre magi, he has a very mm -hmm. powerful effect. He has a chance to like give you extra copies of spells played in his lane. Right. And he comes with a pretty good card. That does damage every turn to Elaine, but he is sensitive. But we're going to take him and see what happens. And this hourglass, this is an item. So these two gold items, these are these are equipment. Okay. So imagine Dota. If you've heard of Dota before, we're drafting heroes, we're mm -hmm. drafting minions and creeps, mm -hmm. and then we're drafting gear to put on our characters. And all of these will go into a three-lane game, which we'll see in, in an effect here. It's basically the easiest way to describe this is you're playing three games at a time, and you have to win two of those games okay. out of the three, or one of those games really, really hard. Okay. And that's how, it, that's the base, that's in a nutshell. Okay, so since I took a hero in the first pack, mm -hmm. I can't take heroes for the rest of this pack. Really? So I can't take this Ursa Bear, which I would have loved to have taken because red is one of my favorite colors. Really? But I, I said Ogre Magi is powerful, which he is, but I hate playing blue. So we don't know what our second color is yet. We're looking at this card. Home Field Advantage is very nice. You can get a lot of RNG fun with that card. Mm -hmm. It disarms a character randomly in the lane. So if you disarm their hero, you get a big edge. And then I, since I don't know what my color is, I know I'm playing blue probably. So we'll take this really crappy... Summon a creep. That's the spirit. Yeah. But I might get doubles because of uh, Ogre Magi, so that's the good thing. Okay. So we're going to really want to concentrate on keeping my heroes alive. So this plate armor will be really good for putting on my blue heroes. This red mist pillager can win you a game by himself if he's left alive. So we're going to sort of bandy about with maybe red as our second color now. Okay. So right now we're not committed to anything. Oh, this guy's also really powerful in red. This guy just eats people alive. So now we're really thinking about red as a second color. But we're still open in green. Yeah. This is a decent defensive card. And we got a bunch. This is that when you're this low in the pack, the stuff usually sucks. These suck, but we might have to play them if we don't get anything good. Okay. See, boom. That's one pack done. Easy peasy. Second pack gives us a Necrophos. Put us into black. We don't really want that. See, you can see the color in the card, right? So that's easy. Part. Correct. Another red mist pillager. This is going to move us heavily into red. This oh. card is amazing. Like this, if this card hits the opponent, he duplicates himself. Oh, very nice. So if you get a couple of these guys going, mm -hmm. the lane just crumbles almost instantly. However, he is pretty frail. Right. Only two health, but correct and overwhelming to get pulled. Yeah, he just destroys people. Like just faces come off. Mm. Yikes. And then uh this dimensional portal will be a nice spell to have. But these cards are also very powerful in red too, so I'm like uh I'm torn here. Mm. Uh the Legion Standard Bear is very powerful. The Bronze Legionnaire is really powerful. Leo, what does your gut tell you here? Yeah, Leo, which one of these cards would you like? Oh, I'm all red mist pillager. Well we're we're I definitely hate taking faces him. And I want him out of there. We're taking him, but we get two cards, so of this dude or this dude, which one would you want? Hmm. Or even this guy. This oh. one summons three creeps. I'll let you pick of these three cards. Mm -hmm. I'm a wild card. I like dimensional portal. Oh, okay. We're then we're taking the dimensional portal, and we're getting into it. See, then, okay, there are no red cards and no blue cards in this pack, mm -hmm. and the both of the the equipment cards are kind of expensive. This one's expensive and bad. This one's really expensive, but if you get it, you if you actually get to cast it, you win the game. It's 22 gold. It's really powerful though. I don't know that a red-blue deck is going to make a lot of money. Generally, if you want to make a lot of money, you play a black deck. They have lots of gold-manipulating cards. This 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 pack is basically a wash. I'm just going to take some junk, and maybe we'll get a crazy green hero. I don't know. Okay, so this is, a blue hero would be nice for our deck, right? She's mm -hmm. terrible, though. Uh, <laughs> oh. So do I want to take her? Probably not, but guess what? All the cards in this pack suck. So Golden Ticket, this is a very fun card. It gives you a random item. It costs nine gold, mm -hmm. but you're almost always going to get an item that costs way more than nine gold. And if you're lucky, you can proc a 25 gold item and just be like, whoa, wowzers. I just won the game. Is that procure? Proc? Uh, what? It's proc. Oh, short proc right? is like short from uh, MMORPGs back in the day. It's sort of a, a process effect, oh. which is like I hit with a sword. I'll do two extra fire damage if on a on a chance, like a ten percent chance, twenty percent chance. Gotcha. So we're in a dilemma. This is an interesting an interesting dilemma here because Crystal Maiden is terrible. And look mm -hmm. at that two five. Like a creep can kill her. Right. Um. She, her spell is pretty good. Her effect is weak. I don't want to take her unless absolutely then don't. Necessary. I know, but but what do we do? The rest of the pack. I might not see a better hero. Yeah. And I'll have to play with some of the uh, 
they give you they give you these what, what we call free heroes, default heroes to pick from later. Right. So if you don't draft heroes during the draft phase, you'll still have heroes to fall back on. And we didn't take her. So we are we are throwing a hail mary for for heroes here. And this is all pretty. Oh, this is this can be useful. That one kills an improvement. This can be good. This can be good. I don't see. We got a green hero. Ah, yeah. yuck. Really, really it's nice disgusting. black hero here. This is great for aggressive decks. I love her. We're not playing black. This is a deceptively, incredibly powerful spell. Deal six damage to every unit later. Like, why would I want to do that? Because of my own stuff. So what you do is you throw like your throwaway blue hero into a lane. Mm -hmm. And just be like, well, screw it. Everything dies. And you're like, eh. <laughs> and you, you know, they're just like, oh, I overcommitted to that lane. And now I paid you out. I'm going to quote you on that. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, a really great green hero. This dude, this dude stomps face. However, the Stonehall lead is extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. Golden Ticket is extremely powerful. These make it for easy picks. Bounty Hunter, an amazing black hero. <sighs> Can't play black. Thunderstorm, great blue spell. And another one of these Hourglasses. These Hourglasses, I didn't talk much about the first one we picked, but like these things make it so whenever the opponent draws a card, they can't play it that turn. So if you get multiple of these stacked mm -hmm. up, your opponent just can't do anything. It's a complete lockdown. Uh, pretty funny. Oh, here's a blue hero there we can take. Go. He's not wonderful, but he is playable. He has wings. That's good. He does. Yeah. And you know what? You know, play playable is good enough at this point. That's the <laughs> that's where we're at. There, if it's playable. You'll play it. Uh, mm, Another one. Yeah, should there we take is. a double? No, we don't want. It. But no. these these two guys, these are the red beaters. The red beaters of faces. These guys crush everything they fight. We like that. Yeah. Probably. You know. You know. If you yeah, I don't know if you realize this, Kirk. We still don't have a single red hero in this deck. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to use the freebies. This ain't great, Leo. There. Yeah, I was just going to say, you don't have a single red hero. Who's exactly. excited? Who's excited about this? Is anyone as excited as me? I'm amped. Only 20 cards to go? We're, we're going through. I told, we're going to go. We're going fast. Nice. This is new gameplay today. Okay. Where we play. We play cards. How they're meant to be played. Uh, oh, it's got a little audio. You can... Oh, yeah, yeah. Every every card has a, uh, a narrated voice. Here is a red hero. He's there not great. Go. He's not wonderful, but you know what? Yeah. He's in desperate, reruns all the time. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah. Oh, man. We are just getting garbage heroes all over the place this game yeah uh, we can blame it on the rng rng is is in this game especially regulating your rng is a big mechanic like there's rng mm -hmm. but you can control it to an extent gotcha. here's here's a blue hero oh venomancer Very that'll put cool. us in a i don't have three blue heroes Ooh. i hate blue here as i said blue heroes are very very sensitive I could not take him and hold out for a red hero, but I don't, I don't know if it would be coming. Don't, it's not worth the risk, my friend. Hmm. Please. You think I should take him? Yeah. All right. We're going with the cork. There you go. The Venomancer. It was another Venomancer the next card. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants him. This deck is stacked. This is, uh, is going to be very interesting. I'll tell you that. Um, all right, now we build. So we only got one red hero. We're going to need at least two. Uh -huh. So we're putting in the fr one of the free heroes. And then for our blue heroes, we definitely want these two. Now let's see what our deck looks like in terms of um, colors before we pick our last hero. Three golden tickets. I do like that. I do like three stonehall plate. Love stonehall cloak. We're, we're picking a lot of items here in our item deck that are going to try to make things more survivable. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have too many items. But those golden tickets will, are worth their weight in gold. So hopefully they they get us there. Now we pick cards. You know, we put those in decks. All right. Lost in time. Might, I don't want to play with a lot of six. Here we go. Big men. Pillagers. The dimensional portal Leo picked. Mm -hmm. This can Thank be you. extremely good with items. This this lets you copy an item. Yeah. So with those hourglasses, you get one out. You grab another copy, and it's like, ooh. Big time. Uh, ooh, not a great lot of options. Here. So These what do you think of the presentation of this overall, Dan? Well, we're going to see when we get into the game. I figured we'd talk about it then. But in terms of, like... It is difficult to convey three games at a time. And I think they did a good job for what it is. I think it's just a very mm -hmm. comp... It's, it's a difficult thing to relay uh -huh. and, and communicate. Well, pulling back, just the, the pictures on the cards. You like them? I do like the... I think the art's fine. I think it doesn't show... It doesn't come out in the game a whole lot. That's yeah. the problem. Uh, as you'll see, everything's kind of squished. Mm -hmm. uh. Are they all items from the classic game Dota 2? Uh... A lot of them are. There are also plenty of new things. Like all, tons of this stuff is directly from Dota 2, but some of it is not. Like many of the heroes we picked are from Dota 2. The the free heroes that we're picking are not from Dota 2, and we have a choice in our last hero here: red or blue. Are they from League of Legends? There are. I, I gotta tell you something here as a spoiler. 
They told me not to talk about this, but there are no League of Legends heroes in this game. Uh, uh, no crossplay. Interesting. I'm going to forget I heard that. Okay, so I, I really don't want to go with three blue heroes. So... It's got to be red. We're going to go with another another brawler. Keep the bowl. And it's very important for your opening your opening shoe mm -hmm. to have as many stacked big guys as you can and not many sensitive guys. Otherwise, you give your opponent, like, just on the flop, they call it. Yeah. Your heroes will just fight and... Well, I don't know. Man, maybe I do want to go three blue. What about someone like me who's a big, sensitive guy? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I'm going to do something unprecedented. We're going to get frisky. Oh, my God. I don't God. care. We're going to go with three blue heroes. All right. The fans demanded it. Right. By popular demand. Yep. The Venomancer. The Venomancer. Some fun, that's, is that technically wordplay? Venomancer Seems is like pretty it, right? questionable. <laughs> Here's the worst part. Now I'm, I'm, I have to add cards, and I still have eight cards, and I put in all the stuff that I thought I needed. Mm -hmm. So now we're at the point where it's like... I'm just adding cards that are not first plays. Let's put it that way. All right. Junk. Yeah, you, very good, Leo. Thank you. Very good. I'm going to put in... These are like some corner case cards. Stallers. Mm -hmm. Tricks. Tricks. Yeah. I love it. Deception. Uh, yeah, man. This is some real ass. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, edit that out. Um... <laughs> Okay. All right, here we go. Deck has been registered. I'm comfortable with how it looks. And Licensed. into the match we go yeah. for actual gameplay. Who's excited? I'm very excited. This is going to be live 1v1 competitive? It is. This is expert tier play. Oh, my God. And as you can see, I've already got three perfect runs under my belt. This will not be a perfect run. <laughs> now, really? what's expert? Is that what they call like ranked versus casual? Expert is, is paid. More, oh. is, these are competitive tournaments that you pay to get in that have prizes. Now, you can play all the modes for free uh, against friends. You can set up your own tournaments. I'm actually really impressed by that. Mm -hmm. Like, I did a few tournaments with friends last night. You can set, like, the number of players anywhere from 4 to 128. Uh, best of 1, best of 3, best of 5. Different modes. Of course, the blue hero gets matched up against a hero right up. Uh, oh. We're all thinking it. We were all thinking it. Imagine the normal frustrations of CCGs are tenfold when you've got money on the line. Well... I'm used to playing for stakes, so it's oh, not that bad. Very interesting. To be honest, a dollar isn't terrible. Uh, wow, so, high rolling. <laughs> so we've got uh, buying time. We're gonna we're gonna seal two of his cards so we can't play them. Since I have Ogre Magi in this lane, casting mm -hmm. blue spells is really good because he can has a twenty five percent chance mm -hmm. of giving me another copy. And it did. Wow, good job, Ogre Magi. Nice. Go good. RNG. Yeah, and he's this, gonna get now punched like in the it. face by Abaddon, so that's not good, but it could have been worse. He might have died in one hit against a black hero or a red hero, which are generally the ones that have huge attack values. Mm -hmm. Red guys are the best in lane because they're burly as hell. They can take a lot of damage, they can dish out a lot of damage. He's, there's the free hero. We we're also playing with him. Um, not a lot going, not a lot happens usually on turn one, but turn two is where things start to get interesting. Yeah. So again, we have to win two of these lanes by reducing the tower health to zero. Mm hmm. Or one of the lanes by reducing the tower health to zero and then the ancient health to zero, which spawns after that. Yeah. And the ancient um, has 80 health. So you basically have to win one lane three times or uh, win two lanes. Generally, you win two lanes. Out of all the games I've played, generally, I've only like done the one lane thing like one time. And it really depends on the deck. You can make a deck that's designed to crush one lane mm -hmm. and excel at that. But in, in draft, that can be more difficult. Oh, of course. The Venomancer got put right in front of the enemy hero, which is lovely. Oh, boy. Gosh. That's just not great. No. Uh, most important question to ask of any oh, uh, interactive CCG, can you click on stuff on the board? Absolutely. And I and I hope they make a Twitch extension so people can, like, any any unit can be clicked on. You can see all their stats. You can dial in deep. How about the background, though? Can you click on the not things a, to make stuff happen? Can you no, put that dragon? It that is butterfly? Not, it is not an interactive battlefield, no. Oh. Hmm. Um, well, that's fine. They're rusty at making games. They'll get the hang of it. They will eventually, right? So we're gonna do this card, and hopefully we'll get a double from my for my ogre magi. Yuck! Summon some of the Venomancer's wards. He didn't copy it. He's gonna die. He's gonna give my opponent a ton of money, and we're gonna be out of here on this lane. Oh, this guy's a jerk. Yeah. So ogre's dead. He got five gold. You get five gold for a hero kill. Very relevant. That's what you spend in the store. He's going to kill this guy, too. Lord. Not great. We're going to... We're going to light this lane up. No. One so anything in this lane will take one damage every turn. Okay. It's not beautiful. It certainly wasn't worth Venomancer dying. Mm -hmm. 
However, but we, we got to make those. You know, gonna do? we got to. Ex- thank you, Cork. See, it's a, it's a what you got to do situation. Yeah. yeah. And my big dude. See, this at least the free hero for Red is very good. He's very tanky. He doesn't do a whole lot. His card's not great. Mm-hmm. But he can give you that very valuable early game lane presence. He's also nice to look at. Handsome. Easy. And he just got punched in the head, so he's not doing anything this round. Sven's just going to hit him. Oh, boy. <sighs> so, by the way, guys, let's... let's yes, sir. I'm going to dial down here. This game is not going great. I have no money. I haven't killed anything. Okay. Uh, he had 12 gold going into that secret shop. Into that shop. He's probably going to be able to afford some stuff. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> Thank you for that. And those are going to help him immensely. He's got his own Beastmaster hitting the table this mm-hmm. turn. So the heroes that he killed, they will come back in two turns. Okay. So not this turn, but next turn they will be back. Uh-oh. Uh, and we got a party. We got a game here. Boys. What will happen next? Leo, tell us what's going to happen. Lay the odds <laughs> on us. like a lot of deaths are about to take place. Yeah, that's 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 definitely something that happens in this game. Things die, things spawn. Oh, and so that's, that's part of life. Yeah. That's my spell for him. Uh, Can't have sunshine without rain. And I did get another Ignite, so I can really start... I can put that in this lane, and then everything in this lane is going to take two damage at the start of every turn, which is pretty nice. Or I could hedge my bets, put one in this lane. Mm-hmm. It's sort of like, which lane do I want to Do I want to like make unfavorable to this person? Hedge. I, I, like, going, I like going all in, so all let's, right. let's make one lane extremely inhospitable. So now everything in lane takes two damage at the start of the turn, which is nice. Yeah. So normally I would be killing Abaddon this turn, but Abaddon's skill is uh, basically to not die, which is really nice. Mm-hmm. So as a big Dota two player, yeah. are, you, are you loving this atmosphere? So as for, as for like the Dota characters, I think are represented flavorly very nicely. Yeah, and uh, if you're a hardcore Dota fan, though, this is a very different type of game. Despite yeah. have, despite being in that same universe. Uh, I would say this is definitely a hardcore card player's game and not necessarily a Dota player's game. If you were thinking about playing a card game, though, and you're a Dota fan, sure. There is an obvious, like, you know, why not, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we had very little to do in that lane this turn. That's okay. This lane is eventually just going to capitulate to these ignites, mm-hmm. which is nice. Um, but you I think in the long game. You have to. And uh, I am losing very badly, though, at this point. Mm-hmm. We shall see what happens in the future. Blue decks tend to get really strong later on, depending on your opponent's items. They have really powerful spells they can play later on, but because the opponent is getting so much gold, and here's the scary part. Oh, my... What? I've never seen that card actually played. Nobody plays that card. Yeah. He just killed both my ignites. Um, Raise. Damn. Does it again. That is really bad, and he didn't spend that money. That, which makes me think his deck has some really insane pieces of gear that are, are like game altering. Okay. That um, I'm gonna have a bad time. So the fix is in, is what you. Now that he's saved some money from two rounds, he's gonna have over 20 gold this turn, which he can buy the best stuff in the game. Okay. And I'm probably gonna be terrified of it. Okay. So it's just a game, though. Just it is just a, a game. It is just a game. At the end of the, you know, that's what I tell myself at night. It's only a game. It's, it's just a game. dollar. He's only a man. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, I can actually buy stuff this turn, though, too. I actually have money as you well. You got 25. Oh, wait. He's got 25 yeah, gold. He's got, he got 25. 14. Checking the board out. Get some armor. Uh-huh. And I think, I will, I think I'll actually save. I want to make sure that I get a chance for a golden ticket yeah. next round. That's the only way I'm going to get out of this game, <laughs> to, to mm. be honest with you. Uh, I feel very good about this. I'm feeling... I'm uh, confident. That's good. Your Classic abilities. underdog story. Yeah. At least one of us is. This is round six, and I have an awesome red card. Guess mm-hmm. what? I've got no red heroes. Yeah. So I cannot play this card. We told you. You did. All in on blue. Mm, I you did. I did take that listen. additional blue hero, man. That's mm. that was a. Uh, it's a choice that's going to be pondered for for ages to come. Uh, okay, so maybe I can draw into something good in blue. That's not good. It's no. it's a blue card. More great red stuff that I would have liked to have had earlier in this game. So Tech, there's been a bit of controversy about the modernization. Go on. This game, can you share how that's going? So initially there was a huge concern, and there still is. Mm-hmm. There is no... Many other free-to-play card games include a way of... Uh, a method of produ- uh, progression right. that does not involve purchasing. Mm-hmm. There is no way to get cards in this game outside of purchases or purchasing things that can win you prizes. Fun. Okay. So you've got to pay to get cards, period. And uh, that said... Um, that said... Mm-hmm. You can play any That's of the a, lots, many of the modes, anything not competitive for free yeah. with your friends. Make your own tournaments. That includes draft. Mm-hmm. So you can play with pre cons. You can play draft. Draft is the best mode in this game. Spoiler alert. 
uh, by like a huge margin. And you can play any of that stuff for free with your friends. They changed it mm -hmm. uh, and just a, just a day ago, actually. So that, that was the case. And that's nice. So you right. pay $20 to get the game and you can play all those modes for free as much as you want. Wait, it's twenty dollars, and then you have to pay to get it, any cards. Yeah, I know that that was Leo. That is why there was such a uh, <laughs> such a stir. You're hearing my live reaction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, it does seem pretty weird, right? And look at this. Out of all the places my venom could have spawned, he spawned right across from the guy. I don't. I I don't know what to say. This yeah. Is, I am not in a good spot. Here. So can you trade cards that you get in your packs with? Other players in the marketplace. So here's how it works. Tell me. It's all linked up to the Steam marketplace. Ah, That's yes. where your trading will be done, at least at launch. Uh -huh. um, we actually can't do that right now here in beta. The, the market's not open. Theoretically, everything will be linked into the marketplace. And you can actually, depending on how you see it, and either cool or not cool thing is that you can you can just construct a deck sort of in the deck builder mm -hmm. and then just be like, buy this deck. Uh, and it'll, it'll pick up everything that you need from the market at the lowest yeah. rate. It's diabolical. Uh, it, some would say that that, is, that that could be pretty diabolical, yes. So these Town Portal Scrolls would have helped a lot. That could have gotten my blue heroes out of the fire. So to speak, oh, lots of stuff spawned in here. So we've given my opponent tons of gold, but could we still win this game? Yeah, Absolutely. It's, it's possible. 100%. 100%. Let's get some, let's get some guys kick, kicking around in lanes. All right. Let's make this happen. Let's right. do some things. Yeah. Cork, you excited for this round? I'm very excited for this. Can you get different dragons? Or whatever that is. Can you get different imps? It's, it's, I think people have theorized that that's one thing that cosmetics. There are no cosmetics to get at, 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 all, at all at this point. Really? However, we still are in beta. Uh, those imps were cool at first. Mm -hmm. I have found them increasingly more annoying the more I play. And I've yeah. got like 50 hours in this game. So. Is that how big they are in actual life? Or, they, or are those cards very large? Uh, I just don't have a sense of scale. Well, they're not real. Okay. <laughs> Leah, Leah with the uh, the bomb. All right. Sorry. Mm. I'm the realist on the show. <laughs> I know. Somebody's got to be. I can stun him and then move this guy somewhere else. The problem is, like, I don't even get an advantage from that. Like, where would I move him? My hand is bad. Let's check the golden ticket. Yeah. Let's do it. Everybody pray. I'm praying. Here we go. Round around. Oh my! Oh my God! <laughs> this is the the worst possible item the golden ticket could have given Your me. Prayer super sucked, Leo. They wow. Ooh, Ooh boy! You can tell I phoned it in. <laughs> like I was not ready for that. That was really bad. Oh, cloak. Okay. Well, we're gonna do it. Can you beg this player to give you your dollar back? I mean. <laughs> I'd ha if I beg really nicely, maybe. I can't believe I got a Traveler's... The, <laughs> the three gold item from the Golden Ticket. I've never seen it happen. Yeah. Never, ever. How That's good are convincing. the rewards you get if you do a perfect run like you did before? So, a fi that'll be fi That's five wins. Mm -hmm. And it will give you... So, in the free draft. So, that means just one dollar, no packs, ponied up. Yeah. So, one ticket. Uh, you get two packs and your ticket back. Huh. The jungle will protect me. Cool. Yeah. How many cards in a pack? There are 10 cards in a pack. Okay. One guaranteed hero card. One guaranteed rare. All right. This is... This game is nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is, what's your what's your play here? I'm just thinking. I'm just doing a lot of thinking lately. About, yeah. About just my doing life. a lot of thinking about <laughs> your life. Yeah, I hear that. You're thinking, do Let's they like to be called creeps? I, yeah, you know, I don't think they like it. Yeah. If I would have had those two ignites in this lane, I'd be sitting so pretty right now. Yeah. But the rays came out. Never seen a guy play rays in my entire life. Your entire life. How long have you been playing Artifact? F 50 hours. How long have you been alive? 50 hours of Artifact Draft. Wow. And not seen it. When did this? When did you start playing it? Uh, about a day, a day and a half ago. <laughs> you played fifty hours of this? Yeah, I haven't really, haven't really done a whole lot else. Good grief! Hey, man, I, I'm it's into card games. Thirty-six hours of a day. I, I know, right? Like, I found those <laughs> extra hours. Time Leon. for this? <laughs> That's impressive. I found them. Wow. Um. Hey, it's cool that we got a traveler's cloak. Oh, a blink dagger! Oh my God. Those of you who play Dota know that blink dagger is really good. Surprise! It's also amazing in this game. It lets your heroes move from lane to lane. Uh, super powerful card. Yeah. Very handy. Uh, I am having my doubts about my ability to win this game. Mm. Uh, we shall see. 
And this is a closed beta, right? It is closed. It goes. Oh my! He's got these guys too. What? <laughs> yeah, you must be playing against a developer or something. No, no. Yeah. Uh, correct. It is in closed beta right now for people who went to, uh, who went and got the passes from PAX or the International. Uh -huh. So it's a very limited beta right now. Right, with cheaters and people who are. I, I, I think cards that shouldn't that. be allowed. No, these right. are all allowed cards. They're all very good yeah. cards. Bots and yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's got to target a hero. I just tried to target myself. That would have been really brilliant, wouldn't it? Oh, it's good that, that it have been badass. gives you a little flag. Sure yeah, it's like, hey, that. wait a minute, buddy. Hey, ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you want? You really want? I still have no money. Opponent's opponent is flush with cash. <sighs> I don't, I don't. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I think he's going to take that center lane. He's really trying to, See, and his and his over commitment to that center lane. Yeah. In any other in any other world, my mm -hmm. deck should be loving that. Yeah. Um, with a thunderstorm or mm -hmm. or lots of other blue stuff that I could do, but I have just not. It's, things have not fallen into place. You just can't put it together. You, yeah. This, this has been been really yeah. really brutal. Let's see what happens. Let's draw a thunderstorm. Let's draw a thunderstorm. Let's draw a thunderstorm. Why not? Can, can we do that? If we can make that, Leo. That's not Wait. a thunderstorm. Here okay. you go, buddy. That is also not a thunderstorm. Yo. I'm going to start pulling my hair out here. Okay. Mm. We have very little... Well... You've got... Right, like People can't see this at home, but... Tears of blood are streaking down <laughs> Dantak's face. They really are. I am... As he channels... The demon lord. At least, you know, yeah, I was I was worried we were going to have a deadlocked game. Uh huh. There's no 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 more concern of that anyway. Why were you worried about that? You it thought, can happen. It can happen. You thought it would just take way too long? Yeah. Well, that well that will not happen. Though. Oh no, that's not. Doesn't we're, seem like that's gonna, happening. It's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be one for the ages. No. Woof. So hey, hey Leah, we don't have to put this new game basically out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Great. There we do. <laughs> So you each have your own timer? Have we? We do. That? All right. So it's like if a the chess clock, yeah, you do, and you get it does go up slightly. I don't know the exact math on it, but you do get more time as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. But you can definitely time out, and you will lose the entire game if your timer runs out. So mm. I have had opponents do that before. You be lost that, in thought. That's extremely petty, though, to sit there for eight minutes and just waste someone else's time. Oh, yeah. it happens. That's a good, good move. There we go. Now well, yeah. What? But you know, you could do. Oh, I don't even like. I'm in a dumbfounded state here. It's yeah. just like just being crushed. Yeah, your irises have been replaced by spinning spirals. <laughs> very unnerving. They have. So this character is going to die this turn. Uh huh. Uh, so right, what I'm going to I can use the town pearl scroll to save him. So okay, that's a, that's a common method. Uh, wow. It is rare that this is like this is probably the most most stomped that this I have is been in this game. Straight up drubbing. <laughs> it is. It is a thorough, mm -hmm. thorough drubbing, as, as we say. Yeah. Is it because I had you take the portal? Uh, you know the portal hasn't appeared in the hand, so it's been irrelevant. Oh, must be even more hurtful. That's the best you can hope for is being irrelevant. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Take that. Show you who's boss. <laughs> it is you. Throw a little ball at you. Yep. <laughs> it's just like nope. <laughs> I'm just like nope, and then that's gonna be the end. So if you don't have heroes in the lane, you can't play cards. I don't know if we explained that earlier. No. So if I want to play a blue spell, mm -hmm. I gotta have a blue hero in the lane. Gotcha. If I want to play a red spell, gotta have a red hero in the lane. Okay. Maybe we can start getting something going with the hourglasses. Making if, if he's unable to play any yeah. cards at all, I might be able to win, right? Like there's a theory. <laughs> oh, there's no if. You're gonna win this one. You've got this. You do have a lot more time on your timer than he mm -hmm. does. Yeah, I'm making quick plays. He's, yeah. he's got to think a lot about all these assets from lane to lane. Yeah, he's like, oh, which of these great cards should I pull? That That's actually what's going on here. Deck. Uh, there's definitely some what we call cheater swords yeah. going on here. That's uh, Oh, hey, there's, there's my third ignite. I'm glad we found that. We really need that. I want to see this thunderstorm everyone's talking about. What? Nah. And he's just saying, you know what? I don't want you playing any cards. This see, that's, that's a good play right there. Mm -hmm. He sees I only have one hero in the lane. Yep. Moves the hero. Yeah. That way I have nine mana, no heroes, can't play any cards. Damn. <laughs> this fallen Templar. He's, he's, he knows what's what. He's yeah. crushing me. Appropriately this badass for the Ultimate man. dominance. Damn. As right. advertised. Uh, what do I have in this lane? Primal Roar was decent when I could use it on the target in yeah. front of me. I don't have any targets in front of my character. Yeah. It's time to get the hourglass out. We'll put it on a hero that needs lots of health. 
So because that it provides a health bonus as well as doing its effect. The Venomancer. So as long as the Venomancer is alive and on the board, mm -hmm. every card he draws will be locked for one turn and can't be played. Very nice. Nope, he's All gonna the kill the Venomancer. <laughs> 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 It's this guy. This, this guy, this Fallen guy. Templar. Pro gamer. Yeah. I alert. am I am befuddled by this man. This imp looks bored. That's not a good Let's sign. Sounds good to me. So he put oh, he put no. a creature in front of the, the Venomancer so that can swap with any other creature on the lane. Mm -hmm. So now he can switch it with another creature. Okay, he just he just put my Venomancer to zero attack. Uh so I'm gonna right. use that so on one of his a, uh, that's going to put a damper on the, your damage up. Well, see, the Venomancer doesn't really do damage anyway, so he's, he's okay. I'm fine with that. He, he literally doesn't do damage. Now he does. Yeah, now he literally does zero damage. Uh, You're just making this lane, it official. There's nothing in this lane, so yeah, I'm okay with that. It's a, sort of a a pass. Okay. Now we move on. I got six gold, six yeah. gold and a prayer. Oh, all right. I'll take a cape. It gives survivability. So what CCG that you played... <sighs> Would be most likely to be replicated in the real world. Like, are there, what, like, like if you wanted so to play this, in, each other if you room? wanted to play this with physical cards, would it be mm. possible, or would it be such a nightmare it, to it, keep track of all the buffs and it, debuffs? It would and... be possible, but it would be a nightmare. Yeah, it's yeah. certainly doable. Yeah, this game doesn't have any like weird stuff. Like a lot of other digital CCGs have stuff where it's like modify this and put it back in your deck. Yeah, yeah. There's none of that. Okay. So in that respect, it would be, but con but having to maintain all three lanes and. Mm -hmm. It's like, whoa, that's a pain, right? Yeah. Um, so I have nothing in this lane. That's cool. In fact, all my heroes are on the board. I just have nothing in this lane. Oh, sweet lord. That's a... Uh, for those of you at home, that's not an ideal situation. Well, you only have to win two, so... Right. Easy. So I got to win this one, which is almost dead. Nice. The table has turned. Has it? Board control, mm -hmm. my friend. Name of the game. Put Big Thumpy down. Awesome. Yep. Big Thumpy, he does thumpy things. <laughs> That's kind of his deal. Mm. Yeah. And remember, I did lock the cards. Oh, and now he's primal roaring. We're all primal roaring everything. Yeah. Okay. Hey, the joke's on you. Now I got a hero in that lane. <laughs> <laughs> he may, you may have just unwittingly given me the the board. You think I travel alone? Ah, that was dumb. He's just, I see. But whatever. I got to prevent any damage I can here. Like, this lane is lost. Right. But he doesn't know that yet. Yes, he's just wasting <laughs> his time, which is I good for you. Yeah, see, you got it. Yeah, so. yeah. Any more resources he spends here is good for me. Yep. What is it? Oh dear. That's a good question. <laughs> Let's find out. Uh so this guy has massive a billion health at this point now. Mm -hmm. Right. So what do I do? What am I gonna do? Let's see some try to kill me. Uh, uh. We're going to do this. Yeah, that's what I was going to... Cause, just because it gives me a card. Yep. There was no real effect there. Hey, remember that one, Leo? Hey! Dimensional portal! You remember that the one? The ringer. It's here. Your worries are over. Okay. Well, we're still alive in that lane. Oh, yep. I guess. This and this lane he gave up on, which is cool. So he's giving me this lane. Um... Normally, you'd say, hey, Dan, why don't you play the Dimensional Portal? I'm like, no, I already mm -hmm. have so many assets in this lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Save that for somewhere else. Yeah. Thanks for going through that uh, conversation all by yourself, too. Yeah, you save us the just, trouble. Just make it sure. <laughs> just want to get it out there. Mm -hmm. Get out of the controversy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Um, now, we've got some problems. We need to draw some, some cards here. We need to draw some good cards. Yeah. That's, I think, where you've failed so far. The dimensional portal right. that will help us win that front lane. The problem is I have gotten no town portal scrolls right. to move my heroes around. I really want to get them out of that third lane now that they've, mm -hmm. they've done their job there. Now, Cork, the town portal scroll is a reference to the Valve game Diablo. Ah. Uh, oh, remember that one? Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's a good way to get back to town. Right. It's fun for uh, fans. It is actually in Dota as well. So, like, lots of the stuff is from Dota. It just functions. By way of and WoW. And it functions flavorly correctly. Yeah, by way of WoW. Let's let's be honest. Yeah. Hmm. Um, the Venomancer was, what, a Zerg guy or something? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, he, he just passed. Strange. What? Okay, oh, my well. God. Remember this one? Who could forget? Look at that. Three creeps, hot and fresh off the presses. Yeah, what do you got now? This guy's got some buff cards. He does. I don't want to talk yeah, about it. Look at my 06 Venomancer <laughs> repping. <laughs> hmm. See, what he's doing 
tech is he's got cards that have both high attack and high health. Hmm. Yeah, this is a new concept to me. It seems like right. we've got cards that are neither. Right. I think the, which is a viable way to play, but I think that's why he's winning right now. They are rectangular like his cards, factor. which is a common <laughs> thing. We yeah. are going to seal three of his cards up for pretty for the rest of the game. All right. Three lock is pretty pretty devastating. Oh. It's going to be all the weak ones. It could be. We don't know. He's got lots of cards in hand. This one is like never going to. It's like for four rounds. Like there's not going to be four more rounds. Hmm. No, you'll take it before then. Yeah. See, see, Cork knows. Yep. Cork you got knows. this. All right. That was actually dumb, dumb play. What I just did, though, I should oh. have definitely used that here in this lane. Yeah. Where Ogre and Magi had a twenty-five percent chance of going copycat mm -hmm. on it. But he sees that and he's like, "Get a load of this dumb, dumb with the dumb, dumb play." Mm -hmm. But. He doesn't know. Smart guy attack is actually right. the other very one. smart. Although Decoy. you did kind of play your hand, so to speak, by no uh, naming yourself Dan Tack. Yeah, he'll There's never find out who name. I was. Oh well. There's so many Dan Tacks. I really need to get my characters out of that lane. Yeah. All right. I. <laughs> Here, here's a. I could kill my own improvement in this lane. Mm -hmm. The ignite for a card. Do I think it's worth it? Yes, it's absolutely worth it. Like, that's a crazy play. It's, it's a really crazy... It's crazy enough like, Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, Dan. What are you doing? I'm like, well, I need the card. That was so not worth it. Yes, it was Fighting Instinct. Yeah, We've fighting, all been waiting for that one. Fighting Instinct, yeah. not very good. So you said you could win by winning one lane really hard? Yeah, but we're not there yet. We have to, First, you have to break a lane. By lowering the health all the way. Right. So we're gonna you're gonna see that here. I first blood will be drawn by me, as a matter of fact. Right here. That's uh, what Rambo said. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're gonna hit twenty hit twenty for the tower. It's gonna smash it. Boom. So it's done. It's now an ancient. Now we need to get one more tower to win. Or to take that eighty health down to, to zero, which oh, as you can wow. see is pretty daunting. Alright, we got a town portal scroll. Thank God. We can get somebody out of that third lane. Mm-hmm. Spread the wealth. Because Venomancer cannot hold down the house here in the no. first lane forever. And the second lane should be falling any time. However, he still has to keep forces there because he is also in danger of losing the second this mid. Yep. So he can't just abandon So we, we got a game here. Somewhat of a game. Somewhat of a game. Something resembling a game. Yep. Wow, this is actually, I mean, uh, wow. All right, Hourglass, go. Anything you just picked up can't, can't play. And that could be highly relevant. However, my Venomage is going to die now. Hmm. And I don't think I have any oh. way to stop it. In fact, I do not. Sort of a grim situation. Yeah. Yes. I'm just fully absorbing what's going on now. Yeah, I just... Is it time to say our goodbyes? No. We have to see we this We never give through. up. We never give up. It's a thrilling conclusion. Now, see, I could Town Portal my Venom out. However. Then I would have these other guys still stuck in lane three. Yeah. Do I want to do that? No, because I have a Primal Roar in hand, and one of the only ways I win this game is by pulling a red hero here, Primal yep. Roaring these guys away. Yep. And it's going to be very rolling. satisfying when you do that. I can't wait. Do it. If only these guys had no neighbors. They all have so many neighbors. This Mystic Mr. Flare Rogers is just style. crap. Not great. However. Oh my goodness. No, don't say it, Leah. <laughs> Don't say it. Uh, so here we have the Mystic Flare situation where 12 damage divided. Oh, he's he's pushing my guys away. You know what? I that was thank you. I'm okay with this. Yeah, yeah I didn't want. I was I was gonna leave this lane anyway. Yeah, hey, take it down, man. You can't fire me because I quit. That's right. <laughs> She's all yours. I really You're could not have gotten scared. any better for no, you. No, that was nice. You did me a favor. Except I mean he's. He's gonna take this lane. He's doing. Way. He's still. He's still doing a very nice job. Yeah, this fallen templar is pretty good. Because <sighs> hmm. I wanted to move the red hero. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to. Really? Yeah. yeah we. Well, no. He's, yeah. F but we still need to represent a threat in this lane for yeah. thirteen points. All right, man. This is that was the toughest choice I've made the whole game, actually. Yeah, I think it's gonna pay off. I don't know, cause like my choices in the third lane, like I move. I'm gonna have to move a blue dork, and he's not very strapped. Like he's very weak. Yeah. Do you like the little dragon shaking his butt? 
I hate it. Like I said, it got really annoying after after a time. What is your mm. favorite animation? Is it him preening its like little wings? You like that? You like his little I'm a stinker, arms crossed? <laughs> I think he juice. I'm thinking. Yeah. Sometimes I think really hard. Yeah, I can <laughs> does see. Does he do the Fortnite dance? Oh, does he floss? They, they do a lot of stuff, and fr frankly, they were, they were cute for like three games, and Mm -hmm. Eventually, it gets to, like your opponent spends a lot of time thinking, and he yeah. just keeps going through the same animations. And you're like, ah. yeah, "I get it. My tower is yeah. going down." Okay. Because Leo and I are still in the honeymoon phase. Mm -hmm. We can't get enough of these guys. They're they're yeah, fun. Can you at zoom first. in on them? Uh, you can't. Uh, really? No. And you can't like click on them and have them. Like, can you buy them outfits for exorbitant prices? That, that, so that's we're all hoping that we can do that. In fact, I'm hoping yes. that there's a way to get rid of them. Uh, that's yeah, my hope. Buy a gun. So buy yeah, a game store. So buy an exorbitant outfit. You mean go away? And by the way, this has been an exceptionally long game. Games yeah. do not go this long. Okay, yeah, I was wondering. We about got that. to thirteen. We're at thirteen out of thirteen mana. I've, I don't think I've ever seen that. No, is this, this an is, unprecedented this might be the, the longest here? game I've ever played? Eight hundred hours of playing. Now, see, the problem is if my opponent has a primal roar. He just takes the game right now by casting it first. He's got initiative. Uh oh. Uh oh. Does he have it? I don't think he's got it. And if he had it, I don't think he's got the balls to play it. We're going to find out right now. Leo, tensions are high. He's got first play. <laughs> Otherwise, I Primal Roar, and I think I take the game, ish. No! Oh, oh, no! Primal Roar, there it is. They said it couldn't be done. I, but I can, can I still cling to life? It's possible. I think it. you have to. Yes. Venom Wards. Yucky. Wait. The Legion has arrived. Oh, the Legion has arrived. I only heal six. It's not going to be enough. I need to keep my dude alive. No. No! <laughs> I'm thinking so hard. You've got this. I really don't. You've got this, Dantax you brain. This. You can think this. You can think this right. That, this, is, this shows you how powerful initiative was. Because he went first, he mm -hmm. got the If I would have gone first there. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when Doctor Strange had to run through all the different permutations? Things to work out? I, right. I know exactly what, like all was lost. I know exactly what he's going through right now. Yeah. And my stupid self only gets six health, and I'm taking 11 damage. Yeah. However. This guy. This guy's, mm. Careful. Hmm. <laughs> Are you going to have a heated gaming moment? No, we don't have those here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Back fine. To safety. Fine. That's what we like to hear. If fine. there was only a way I could get a red hero to this lane. Yeah. I'd be okay. You don't think it's going to happen? Ah, keen folk musket. I mean, that's whatever. You kidding me with this? Ugh. Are you kidding me? Give me a break! We're playing a card game here. What am I gonna do? Leo, how am I gonna win this one? How am I? Oh my god. Hit him with the primal roar. Then that messenger real, rookery comes real in. Trouble. Then clear the deck. Hit him with a quick healing salve. You're out of there. Mm -hmm. They won't even know what hit him. I know. <laughs> I'm thinking Red Mist Pillager. Before he even knows what Yeah, happened. I'd love to, but... Now, Cork, why can't we play Red Mist Pillager? Just got Blue Hero in there. There you go. See, I'm paying attention. I know you 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 got yeah. it. I can play him in this third lane, but why? By the time by the time he's yeah. relevant there. Oh no! Oh, yeah. oh no! Look at that. Ouch! How do they pick up the whole deck with their little dragon feet from the top card? That's a really smart question. And why doesn't surf music play every time they do it? Yeah. Hmm. And why not? I still love it. He saluted. Yeah, they're pretty. I told you he's they're good. He's a patriot. Yep. This is going to be too easy. You got this. I, so if you just take that rightmost tower, you win. If I take it to zero. I tell you, my ex-wife was going through a shopping phase. He's got 34 phase. points. He's got 34 points hitting my uh, my front front tower here. I have, I have no plays. I have mm -hmm. no cards that I can even play because I got two blue heroes. The Primer mm -hmm. War again would have been the game-winning card if I would have had initiative that round, but I didn't. Leo, I heard that joke too, by the way, and yeah, I know that you didn't want us to pick sides, but a lot of us sympathized with Kathy. That's all we're saying. She's just, doing her best thing. I was really, I thought I'd when it, in the divorce, I thought I would at least get some good riffs out of it, but I feel like it's been 
squandered. <laughs> okay, you guys. I might, right. I might have Let's a plan. get serious. I might have a plan. If I can survive this round. That's yeah. highly unlikely with no, all his no, cards. No, he's not, got 14. He can play everything in his hand. Yeah. But he's not going to. Yeah, if he doesn't, chicken. if he doesn't, I have a plan. All right. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Here goes. Oh wait, are you waiting for him? <laughs> yeah, we're it's <laughs> okay. on him. Yeah. We're kind of on his timeline. Just I got very, I got very Templar. lucky, and instead of attacking me, these guys are all attacking the Venomancer. Yeah. So if he can remove the Venomancer, I die. But if he can't, here we go. This is a very interesting card. What, okay. That, I was like, I was like, I can copy my hourglasses. That's really cool, mm -hmm. right? No. Well, I'm gonna copy the Blink Dagger. <gasps> and this will let me get my hero back from that uh, from the outer rim. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Did I did I play that wrong? I must play. Oh no, I got it. See, okay, sweet. So now, mm -hmm. I will be able to bring him home to the front lane. All right, let's do it. We are doing it. Bring him home to the front lane, baby. Here he comes. Well, he's gonna be. I gotta wait till I get to the third lane. But oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then so we'll actually have a red here there, and then we might have a chance. It's very oh ah, no, the dark. What was I saying? There. I spoke too soon. Nah. The hits keep coming. You sure my you friend. can't win this lane? He's only got it's ten. Like, yeah. I've only got, I've got one blue one blue card. Nothing. Hmm. No 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 plays. I see. You're right. It would. You know, Leo, you're absolutely right. That winning that lane would be great. <laughs> in, in another universe. Yeah. The, you have to think about lanes very carefully. I could move my red dude from that lane to this lane, and mm -hmm. then win this lane. But it's going to happen on the second board. So that first board's going to happen first, and he's going to win the game before I'd have a chance to do that. Mm. Sure. So thinking about front lane and last lane is actually very important in terms of, like, many games come down to a single turn. Yeah. And if you you want that action in the front lane, your, your, your big initiative plays to be there. Anyway. Seems strategically like this is the chess of games. Is it's that a, true? Interesting. It's, it's like a, a game version of chess. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a complex game. All right, so here we go. Blink Wait, wait I, I have 46 damage. Oh, can I can I kill him? Yeah, can't, five more. I need five more, and I only have four more. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Was well, he gonna win next turn? Yeah. Damn. He can't pile on some more magic. I just need one damage. What did I do wrong? I miscalculated by one point. Let uh, us know in the comments. This gives them cleave, but cleave won't help. I think that not even four cleave. I blame my bad joke um, about about Leo's ex-wife. I blame my good, was joke, a good joke about the shopping. No, it was phase. distracting and it did not serve anybody. I mean, this place is going to die next turn anyway, so let's let's roll them. Yeah, let's do it. Roll them. I just I was one point off. Yeah, one single point. Just remember that. Yeah. All right, pass. I know you're there. Hello. Oh. He's thinking real hard. He's milking it. If for some reason we survive this mm -hmm. first turn, then you got it. Then we got it. Hmm. Chances of that <laughs> seem very low. Right. Is there anything that's you can a, buy? A TP scroll, but that's not gonna help. Like TP I've got that, scroll. Yeah. I've it just got this faster man. in this case. Yeah. Eat that damage. We we have no idea how the arrows are gonna line up here. This is uh this is this is intense. He did get in front of one of the biggest creatures. That's really Oh, cool. yeah, look. 16. Oh, and the arrow is... Yeah, 16. That's without any effects, though. And he gets to right. go first. So all he has to do is Primal Roar again. And it's GG. Easy? Otherwise... Otherwise, I have a chance. I'm waiting with bated breath. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's all on him. 15. I've never seen these get to 15. I think the highest game before I played ever played this was like 11. I've had to go to 16. So this, this is the longest game of Artifact I've ever played. Just like, yeah. of course it would happen on new gameplay today, right? Yeah. yeah. I've seen a 16 and a half cork. I think a lot of people are going to see he the link to this video. Damage immunity. They're going to see it as a challenge. That's nice. Right. Get out of here. Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay. What else you got? A measly eight. <laughs> I know. And eight, eight is doable. Yep. And we've still got cards. I can see them right there. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> They're near the bottom of the screen. And I still have several other chump blockers. Yep. Available. Um, That's what I call my sunglasses. <laughs> chump blockers. Yep. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> He's thinking now. Oh, there it is. 
He just gave up. Forfeited? Oh, there nice. it is. Look at the masterful play. Wow. You had right. that under control. Normally, I was I was gonna show off some other stuff, but I think uh, that was the longest game of Artifact I've played. So yeah, fantastic. GG. Yeah. G -G. So even if you have a cheat deck using hacked cards, you can still ha be forced to concede. It's a good game. I, I hope everyone got a good look at Artifact. It's not the most watchable of games, I don't think, but it is very. Also, I'll go on the record and say it's really fun. It's definitely complex. You have to mm -hmm. think about so many moving parts. I mean, yeah, who would have known? Ridiculous. I copied the blink dagger. Yeah, that's and then every this oh things lined up. What a what a game. Beautiful. What a game. What yeah. a game. Well, thanks for playing Dan Tack. Thank you and sharing just a small slice of your intellect with us. It was really a treat to watch. <laughs> Leo, thank you as always. This game comes out November twenty eighth, in my opinion. <laughs> November twenty eighth. And thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it.